we planted carrots in here yesterday and uh, I rigged up these old fence. These are all salvage pieces of fence that people were throwing away. <clears throat> and last year I rigged them up with chicken wire around each, each segment is separate. It's just held together by a rope that I just slip on here. And that's just an easy way to get inside and open them up. The chicken wire around the fence at the base keeps the rabbits out. Because little rabbit can get through there. And I just thought it was a nicer looking way of using chicken wire and to use up these salvage pieces of fence. So I've got six rows of carrots in here. When we dug up the garden in the first place, we had to have the diggers hotline people come in. They tracked where different kinds of natural gas lines and so on, electrical power lines and stuff on the property. Well, I saved all of their little flags and now I use them for markers. So here's, here's a carrot marker. We've never, never grown this before. This is called dragon. It's kind of purple on the outside and orange on the inside. So I gave that one a reddish colored one. Since we don't have a lot of fruit growing here, we're, uh, the ground cherries are always good to put in. They kind of come with a little, a little husk on them, like a little brown husk, like a wrapper. See, you can see them coming here. See, this is that little wrapper that's going to turn brown. And that's when you know when they're ripe, but we're still way too early for them. But there's quite a few of them coming. Over here we got five kale plants. These are the dwarf scotch curly, I think is their name. Rabbits had gnawed these down, so we quick got out some chicken wire. And then Elena was afraid that they might push their way through. So she added a bunch of reinforcing of hardware cloth on here. And I'm telling you, these, these are protected kale plants. And now here they are coming back. Okay, over here we got a little strawberry patch. We don't have a lot of strawberries. Uh, the chipmunks like them, so they eat only half of a berry, though, and leave the other half. Probably for me, because they like me. But, so we don't do a big business in strawberries with this little little area. We got the peppers in here. Um, these are started from seed that was two years old and usually the pepper seeds will last a couple of years. Uh, these guys had trouble too. We got chicken wire around here because the rabbits were gnawing on the on the plants and we can see a little bit of that like right down in here. You can see how they were chewed off there. Now, I don't remember rabbits ever eating on pepper plants, but they sure did this year. We still got quite a few. I'm looking for these to get like, you know, four, three, four feet high yet. And uh, one of the breeds, I've got them mixed in here, is King of the North. And then the other one's called Wisconsin Lakes. And those are heirloom seeds, but they were they were perfected in Wisconsin, so I figure since we're in Wisconsin, it's probably a good idea to grow those plants here. We had squash in here last year, and here's a volunteer squash plant that I'm going to try to I'm going to try to preserve. I don't know what kind it is, but I'm going to see if I can get it stringing out here along the path and uh, get it pulling away from the peppers. And then we got another one over here. Another volunteer is awful close to this pepper. And some of them are struggling, like this little guy here. When we got heat, we got terrible heat a few days ago, 95 degrees or so. And that did burn some of the plants, I think. I think it was the heat that did it. I like mixing stuff up in the garden. If you don't have it all in the same place, it's like you don't have a monocrop then. And here, I got some kale more kale. Here's Russian kale. This stuff is tough. It's hardy and it tastes good. And then right behind it here, we're going to have to start trimming out the Russian here. Right behind is more of that dwarf curly, that scotch dwarf. And I, I always tend to not anticipate how big the plants are going to get so I get them too close sometimes. This was all onions in here. 
I think I started them too close together in the in the house. They're coming and they will make onions. And then what do we have here? Another squash plant. I hope it's a butternut because I like the butternut squash. And then here are red raspberries. And these are looking very healthy. See, here we got them coming. Behind me here, right back here are the golden. But they put out runners, so you never know what you're gonna get. What I noticed right down here is here's a golden that popped up on the other side here. Look at there. <laughs> they are the sweetest, sweetest berries. 